So there are three intersplicing stories, um, each of them dealing with a different aspect of migration or refugees, and it's set in different parts of the world. So one story is set within an African context, another within Australia, a detention center there, and a third um, at a port of entry into America. So these three stories kind of explore different themes related to Africans trying to be mobile in the world today, but also um, a Canadian and a Westerner, a Westerner being mobile within an African context. Do you know anyone who's a member of a terrorist organization? Brother, what is the problem? I'm not your brother. The play seeks to address two primary issues, which I think are the two key fault lines in the world today. So the one issue is inequality, and not just economic inequality, but also political inequality. Who has political power? It explores issues of culture, because that's the other key fault line. The different value systems that people have, the different belief systems, the different traditions that inform the way in which people relate to each other and relate to, to concepts such as and practices like democracy and the like. What is this? It, it, it's a play. Hamlet. What is Hamlet? It's a very well-known story by a very famous writer. The, the power dynamics are intense in this play because in, in terms of migration and, and also speaking about human survival and the human experience, and we are always, we, we, you know, we don't live in isolation, we, we live in relation to people. And in that relation, who has the power at any given moment? And why do they have the power? You will teach this book to us children? Yes. Mm. So that you will see what they teach mm -hmm. about brother that kills king to become king. <laughs> and when we do like they teach, they say we barbarians. And then they say, no king government, do democracy. Only way change king here is king. Anywhere in the world, as we live, the perpetrator is also a victim. And a victim can become a perpetrator. As the play unfolds, you start to fully understand that this perpetrator is also a victim. And say, so, I'm really sorry about what you've experienced. But you must understand, we wouldn't be doing this. We wouldn't have gone through what we have gone through for the last 33 days unless we were really desperate. All we're asking for is, is a chance at a normal life. Again, I am really sorry about what you've experienced. We accepted that there will need to be consequences. But as a human being to another human being, you must understand how traumatic this has been for us. Please. Please, just tell us what options we have. 